I built a 5 inch quadcopter. Not just any quadcopter. This is a sub 250 5 inch on 4S. What is up awesome people so in today's video i'm gonna build a five inch quad i have this toothpick quad that cost me about 12 dollars on aliexpress and i'm gonna be using this frame for the five inch quad now the frame seems robust with a thick five millimeter arm and i'm gonna be using this happy model canopy because i'm using the dji 04 light also we're gonna be using the happy model crux f405 hd flight controller and this one's obviously from happy model for the motors, I'm going to be using the Zing 1806 motors simply because Happy Model doesn't make motors that's larger than 1408. So I'm kind of forced to get these motors. So that's basically everything that you need to build a sub 250 5 inch quad. Now the Crux F405 HD has a 20x20 20 20 mount and it comes with these XT30 connectors as well as a built-in Express LRS receiver and that's one of the main reasons why I'm actually using this particular flight controller though you might want to note that the solder pads are really really tiny so you really need a really fine tip soldering iron Now the grommets that came with the Crux F405 might not be able to fit the flight controller itself so what i did was i actually used o-rings on a screw stack so as to separate the carbon from the flight controller now over here what i'm doing is i'm adding a piece of carbon plate that actually belonged to a cine 8 and this is to actually hold the lipo battery at the bottom so as I mentioned, I'm going to be using the O4 light and this will be mounted on top of the frame directly below the canopy. Now the Mobilis 7 O4 canopy is actually meant for a tiny whoop frame so I'm going to have to drill out the holes to make them bigger to actually fit M2 screws. So that's what I'll be doing in this portion of the video. Now always do dry fit or test fits if you're building a quad and this is mainly to make sure that all the wires and all the parts are actually sitting in the proper place and they don't get in the way of anything else, probably your lipo connectors or perhaps your props or anything like that. Alright, so now that the flight controller and the VTX and canopy and camera is all fitted together nicely, it is time to fit the motors. So these Zing motors comes with two long screws and four short screws. You might want to have some spare screws on standby just to make sure that they actually fit the frame. Uh, a box of M2 screws of various sizes would really really help at this particular point of time. And now that the motors are all screwed in, it is time to solder up the motor wires. I'm going to be doing this off camera because my poor eyes can't really see those solder pads. So forgive me if I can't show you the soldering process. I'll try as the best if I could. But before soldering the motor wires, do make sure that you solder in the XT30 connectors first. So as I mentioned, these solder pads are really small. So when you're actually thinning your wires, make sure that you thin your wires away from the flight controller so as not to have any of those solder blobs or solder drips onto the flight controller that will cause a short of something that's never good so here i am just finishing up the build and this is the additional plate that i was telling you about from the cine 8 and this will be the one that is holding the battery at the bottom now do note that this is a crux f405 hd so the plug that actually goes into the dji system is vbat and if you're using an 04 light, make sure that the wire is disconnected and plugged in somewhere else because the VTX only takes a max of 3 cells and you don't want to burn your VTX as it can be a pricey mistake. Alright, so I've actually added the Flyfish RC's Osprey antenna. This is the LHCP for this particular build just because the colors match the motors. Now that it's all built, it is time to go on to the software. 
Now let's address the Express LRS receiver. The easiest way to do this is to plug in your quad and make sure you use a smoke stopper for this and wait for 20 seconds before it starts blinking rapidly and that's where you enter the Express LRS Wi-Fi and this will open up this particular window for Express LRS and all you need to do is just key in your binding phrase and you are done. Next, I'm going to jump in onto Bed of Light and just to check that the receiver is correct, make sure that your TAER and AETR is properly selected. Then we're going to open up our DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Series and we are going to unlock the VTX so that we are able to use it. Without unlocking, you won't be able to use the VTX at all. Do update to the latest version and once that is done, we're going to proceed to the binding process. For the binding process, I'm using the goggles entry, so I'm going to press and hold the power button until the beep comes up, and then we're going to press the button on the VTX, and once both beeps confirm, it will go green, and you're done. Now don't forget to check the motor directions on Better Flight and also the FC orientation. Do note that my FC is at the bottom so I had to flip the FC around and had to adjust the roll to 180 degrees. So do make sure that those are checked before you actually plug in and take off on a flight. Just make sure you check, check and double check. Now that she's all built, she's all looking spiffy and shiny, let's put it on the scale and take a look. Now the weight of the quad with the LiPo, this is the 4S 850mA GNB LiPo. It's at 247 grams and that's pretty amazing if you ask me. Well, she's all built now. Time to do a little LOS and uh, see how she flies. If she flies, if not, it'll just burn the moment you plug in the LiPo. Me okay, this spot is as good as any. Uh, plugging in for the first time. Let's see how it goes. I hope it doesn't go poof. Okay, that's a good sign. Yeah, see how it goes. First arm. Okay, that's good. Sadly, I had to urgently leave, so couldn't finish the video. But we'll do the flight on the next one. So till then, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.